Retail sales increased by 3.2% year-on-year in August. This is up from 1.7% in July. Now, the outcome marks the sixth consecutive month of an annual expansion and exceeded market expectations of only a 2.1% increase. Now, the outturn also adds credence to the view that the consumer environment has improved in the second half of the year, aided by declining fuel costs, uninterrupted energy supply since March, and a post-election recovery in consumer sentiment. In the short term, we expect the two-port system. Uh, we expect that the two-port system could provide um, some temporary relief to financially strained um, consumers, which is which is potentially going to boost um, shopping activity. But this we expect to take place only in the short term. Now, despite these developments, the the consumer is not completely out of the woods as yet. Unemployment remains high and credit conditions remain restrictive. However, in the medium term, the outlook looks more promising. We expect that the, the, the continued easing of inflation and the gradual decline in, um, in interest rates will boost consumers' um, um, disposable incomes and discretionary income. And of course, this is going to boost their spending power.